Albany's Rock Station. I'm floundered here with uh, the entirety of Seether today. They're playing at the uh, Upstate Concert Hall tonight. Uh, we're going to start with some listener questions. We have a bunch of stuff. They're almost in the same vein, but I promised I'd save all of these. So, Lori from Galloway wants to know, uh, well, she says she loves the song Butterfly with Teeth. Do you ever plan on uh, playing that song live? Never. Never? Damn, Lori. Sorry, Lori. <laughs> Maybe. We don't know. We'll, we'll figure some as we go. Whatever we got how it goes. Yeah. <laughs> Switch it up as you go. We write songs, then forget how they go. <laughs> <laughs> do you have it? So Wendy in Clifton Park, uh, what songs do you guys like to play or randomly sing that is not one of your songs? Oh shit. We've got a couple that we do every night again. A couple cover songs. Deftones, Deftones. Change. Change the House of Flies, of course. Nice. One of my chair parts. I heard you guys do some Nirvana yeah. covers. Silver Chair. Yeah. Uh, Kenny Rogers. Yeah. The Gambler? Fuck yeah, 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 son. Yeah. Uh, bust that out tonight. <laughs> oh yeah, I'm, I'm now, now excited. Now I'm very excited. Uh, Liza and Latham wants to know uh, what song of yours means the most to you guys collectively, I assume. Uh, it's tough, man. I think for everyone, all of us, it's different. Mm -hmm. For me, uh, the last song of the set is my favorite. <laughs> That's a tease right there if I ever heard one. <laughs> uh, but I, I think emotionally we all connect differently. Yeah. So I don't yeah. think anyone has like, I, I don't think we can, we can just play a good one. For me right now, same today. Okay, cool. George in Rensselaer, he wants to just tell you, uh, Sean, he loves your, your style, voice, been a fan for years. Will you be doing any acoustic versions of, and then he just lists like almost every song you've ever written, uh, and also wants to know if he can get an autographed t-shirt. No, no, and no. No, I don't know. Uh, we, we, uh... Acoustic is difficult, man. It's, 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 a, it's a different kind of vibe. You, you go on an, an acoustic tour, people want to see the heavy stuff, so... It's, it's kind of, it's kind of... It's, uh, we don't discount anything. It's all, like, all of that list of stuff. I get the feeling you get asked to do acoustic things maybe very often. Which is why we stopped. Okay. So I think we want to try and keep it as special as possible. Yeah. If you do it every day, it's not, it's not a great thing. Mm -hmm. it's like, but if you do it once in a while, then it becomes something great. So, Very um, special when it happens. Our next acoustic performance will be in about five years. Five years? Yeah. All right, I'm holding you to that. Is that in, a, a, in a church. <laughs> uh, I hear you guys are going to be uh, supposed to be having a new album next year. You guys uh, work on that on the road here, or how does that Good go? Good God, you motherfuckers nope. jump on that AMA I thing know. so far. <laughs> I was just shooting the shit, man. You can't say anything uh, on the internet, or else well, everyone will see it. I think, I think realistically, you know, depending on how long this tour lasts for this year, we'll take a couple months off, and then we'll start writing for the album next year, and it's just we're ready. Yeah, we, we'd hope to have one out by the end. There's no point in it. Uh, other people have plans for us, we just have <laughs> When we find out what the plan is, we'll fucking fit it. Uh, yeah, it we just, just sounds pretty good. Exactly. And you show up. And they point to yep. go that way. <laughs> this follow. There's a big paper on the wall that says what we have to That's do. right. <laughs> point A to B. Do you have a, a lot of touring going on this uh, this summer here? Uh, almost like a worldwide tour, uh, at least where you're, where you're going. Uh, yeah, we just came back from South America. Um, we are doing the States now. And then we're doing Australia, New Zealand. We're going back to the States with three doors down. Go ahead. You heard it here first. <laughs> Fuck. What are you told for that? No, that's and great. then we go to Europe for I think about four or five weeks and then um, so maybe South Africa. And then if we can, maybe try and squeeze in some Asian tour. Uh, again, we don't know what to do. We just, we just get a broad outline and then when, when it's like, hey, you guys are leaving tomorrow. Oh, cool. We are, are we? Next weekend, you guys have your uh, your Rise Above Fest out in uh, Maine, which is a sweet lineup as well. So if you'd like to say about that, and it's a, a good cause of them down as well. No, nah, yeah, it's a good show. Good bands. Uh, a lot of our friends, so it's a big, it's a big, sort of a big old family get together, uh, raising money for a good cause, I think, and uh, creating awareness about something that's becoming kind of an I think, as far as it's, it's, it's really fucking us up as, as, as a society. So, uh, yeah, we're just trying to do our part, just, you know, trying to raise some money. I think we'll feel good for it. Uh, thank you guys so much for taking the time before the show here. I uh, can't wait to see you guys tonight. Uh, once again, Vladimir here from Q103 with Cedar. Thank you very much, guys.